Hummingbird is a pet. As a bird lover, you must have wondered, is it possible to keep the smallest bird as a pet? Hummingbirds are beautiful little creatures native to the Americas. The high-frequency humming sounds that they create, while flapping their wings in a rapid motion, gives them their name hummingbird. Like no other bird, they have the potential to hover in mid-air with their high wind flapping rate, which can range from 12 to 80 beats per second depending on their subspecies. To assist you in your decision, we will be covering all aspects of keeping hummingbird as a pet today. Can you keep hummingbird as a pet? Hummingbirds are found in the United States, Canada and an Indonesian island, Bali. This species is protected by the states under Cites Appendix 2. The list includes birds that are not threatened with extinction, but their trading is controlled to protect them as a free trade poses a threat to their survival. Is it legal? It is illegal to keep hummingbird as a pet. They are also protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act of 1918. Unless you have a special permit, you cannot trap or keep a hummingbird or her egg. We, humans, are the well-wishers of these birds, and they are not allowed to be kept as pets as it is dangerous for these species to live in captivation. Violation of this law might cost you between $15,000 to $200,000. So, do not even think of keeping hummingbird as a pet and restricting him in any way. Difficulty in keeping hummingbird as a pet. There are certain aspects of the bird's character that limits us from keeping them as pets. Let us discuss these factors in detail. Extremely small size. Most species of hummingbirds measure between 3 to 5 inches in length. The bee hummingbird is the world's smallest bird with just 2.25 inches long. It weighs as much as a dime. This extremely small size makes them soft and fragile for keeping them as pets. Holding them a little too tight might harm them physically or could even kill them. Fast Metabolism Hummingbirds have the fastest mass-specific metabolism among the homeothermic animals i.e. the ones that keep their internal body temperature stable regardless of any external influence. While in flight, they have the highest metabolism of all the animals, except for insects. Their fast forward flights and rapid wing flapping makes their body use more energy. As a result, they tend to eat a lot. They require feeding every 10 to 15 minutes. This makes it extremely difficult for you to take care of them all day long. Like other birds, you cannot leave them behind with food, as they might run out of it. You would not like to see your pet dead of starvation when you return home. Diet Needs some people believe that hummingbirds only require sugar water to survive. This is a myth as they eat a lot more than just nectar in the wild. Moreover, the nectar that they get in the wild is much more complicated in terms of nutrients than just sugar and water. To top it off, these birds are very particular in the texture of nectar they consume. With tube-like tongues, they prefer to stick to the For a healthy diet, hummingbirds also need protein that they get from small live insects like fruit flies and gnats. An average hummingbird eats insects and nectar equivalent to half of its body weight each day. This makes them feed on 1,000 to 2,000 flowers and hundreds of insects daily. That constitutes an exotic diet which is very hard to produce if we keep them as pets. It is said that an average human with the metabolism of hummingbird would eat up 129 kilograms of meat every day. That clearly shows how much time these little creatures spend on gaining the weight they lose due to their fast speed. They eat almost all day every day. How can you spend time with hummingbirds? If you are absolutely in love with these beautiful birds, there is another great option to spend time with them rather than keeping them as pets illegally. Since hummingbirds are summer birds, many people keep feeders filled with sugar water outside their homes in the summers. These birds get attracted to the sweet solution and feed upon it. You can do the same by preparing a thin sugar water solution and keeping it in a feeder for the birds at a place where they can easily spot it. The birds will hover around the feeder to gain some fat allowing you to admire their beauty closely. Do not forget to wash the feeder every day as sugar solution tends to become thicker with time. Thus thick sugar water would not attract any hummingbird. Also, if you have space, you can consider growing flowers to which hummingbirds get attracted to. Your garden will be full of your favorite birds all the time. It would be interesting for you to know the fact that you can go much closer to this species than your regular pet birds. Other birds are initially afraid of our presence, but hummingbirds are quite fearless as they are confident of their fast-moving capabilities. They know that they can run away from the hands of a slow-moving human if the need arises. This fearlessness allows you to closely spend time with them and enjoy their companionship. What to do if you find a sick hummingbird? Though hummingbirds are fully capable of taking care of themselves in the wild, they might get injured accidentally or catch up with some illness. If you encounter a sick or injured hummingbird, you must take him home. Provide hydration to the bird by placing a few drops of sugar water solution on his tongue. Make arrangements to provide him warmth. Nurse him back to health as soon as possible and release him back to nature. 
If your efforts to make the bird healthy do not show any positive results, contact an experienced veterinary for his treatment. Explain to him the conditions you found the bird in to help him cure the hummingbird faster. Hummingbirds are very cute, beautiful little creatures. Their enormous speed makes them a natural wonder. Just like a marathon runner requires to fuel himself much more than the normal human beings, hummingbirds also require a special diet. They can easily fulfill their nutrition requirements in the wild with the presence of abundant flowers and live insects. They are familiar with their natural surroundings and are capable to take care of themselves. In captivity, you might not be able to fulfill a hummingbird's nutritional needs. It is easy for them to die because of starvation since their metabolism is extremely fast. You might not be able to bear the stroke of their weapon-like beak. It is illegal to keep them